Terry McCarl setting the pace. Dusty Zomer closely looking on the outside of the front row. Everybody getting nose to tail. Inching toward the white line in turn number four. Justin Clark waves the green flag. We're underway as they come off of turn number four. Side by side once again into turns one and two. Henderson trying to squeeze a 24 down to the bottom. It will be McCarl again. Keep your eye on Wayne Johnson. Tries to dime it down to the bottom. Exiting turn number two. Looking for second but not able to get the run. They're stacked up in the back as they're working to turn at number three and four. Here comes Wayne Johnson. Tries to put a slider on Zomer. Not enough. He'll fall back and run in the third spot. But here comes Sammy Swindell on the cut number zero one. He'll knock on the door of right so Reitzel shuts the door. Now he'll go to the inside of Wayne Johnson for third. The current ASCS points that are going after the 2000 champion as they work to the back straightaway. It'll be Reitzel oh. down to the bottom. Wayne Johnson up high. Reitzel now slides it up across the nose of Johnson. Wow. Very close between those two drivers as Aaron Reitzel will take the spot. Here comes Wayne Johnson. The Reitzel slams the door right in his face down to the bottom. Duck and dive. They work their way through turn number two. Here comes Swindell. Now he'll move by Clint Garner down the back straightaway. That'll be the race for the fifth spot. Meanwhile, Wayne Johnson closing back in on Aaron Reitzel. The battle continues on for third. Wayne Johnson gets four wheels over the cushion. Here comes Sammy Swindell. He'll close in and dive to the inside of turn one. Battle for fourth and in turn number two. Like a Cadillac on cruise control, he works the high side in turn three off of turn number four. It continues to be Terry McCarl now closing in on the four. John Egan to put him a lap down, clicking off lap number 17. His advantage continuing to build over Zomer 3.305 seconds over the 82. Reitzel still in third. Down the back straight with McCarl, heading down the back shoot for the final time as he works towards three and four. Into turns three and four for the final time. The white flag will go away. The twin checkered flags will come out. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Terry McCarl. How did it feel to make that right turn and get up here? <laughs> That's what I told him. Used to going left after the scales. It's been, uh, been a while since we turned right. But, uh, wow, what an honor it is to win this event for the fourth time. And uh, like I said earlier, we weren't planning on running this thing if it wasn't for Don Long's surgical telephone and Jamie Moyle. I'm getting a little misty, but uh, Jamie's a good buddy of mine, <laughs> and he's uh, he's uh, you know, the most honest, hardworking guy I know, and he did my motor builder, and he uh, I wanted this more than anything for him and Don. What was the biggest key for you tonight in this feature to get it done? Well, last night uh, we don't run 360s very often, and it taught us a lot. So uh, we actually tightened up even more. And I, I just, man, I thought when I was out there running, I thought if someone can pass us, they must be really, really good. I, I didn't think the bottom was quite good enough as it was last night. Dusty's so good on the bottom, and uh, his team. Uh, I didn't think there was quite enough to go down there, but we had such a great race car, and I didn't hear anybody. And uh, you know, we got in traffic. I kind of just followed for a while, and uh, I misread the scoreboard. It was nine to go. I thought it said four to go, but. Uh, <laughs>